Hey programmers, today is all about setting up a second console to be a full tracking backup to our main. So if one desk goes down during the show, the other one will just take over automatically. Today's tutorial topic was suggested on YouTube by Nicholas Filto, and I thought it was a great idea. If you've got a request for a tutorial, drop it in the comments, or you can message me on the console trainer Facebook or Instagram sites. I'd like to try to help make things a little bit easier to understand. In an MA session, every console is considered a station. And yes, on PC can be a station as well. In fact, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna set up my on PC as if it was the backup to my light. A fully tracking backup is great because it takes over pretty seamlessly if you lose your main. And if you're running your DMX outputs on NPUs, even if you lose a desk, they'll keep outputting because they're in the same session. If you don't have NPUs or you're just using DMX via 5-pin right out of the back of the console, remember to set up the DMX outputs in the network config screen on both desks and make sure you have those 5-pin connections set up on your main and your backup. From there, you'd probably want to have some sort of DMX AB switch, which makes life a lot easier than unplugging those cables from one desk and plugging them into another. If you're using ArtNet, make sure that's connected and configured on your backup desk as well. Same thing goes for any other physical communication like MIDI or SMPTE. On your consoles, first make sure that they're both running the same version of software. Consoles also need to be on the same network in the same IP range. You might be connecting your consoles, NPUs, nodes, whatever, through an ethernet switch. Maybe you have a wireless access point for a remote, but regardless, make sure all those devices are at least gigabit ethernet because that's what the MA runs at. If you've got a device in line that's slower, it can slow all the communication down. Once our hardware is all hooked up, we wanna set up our network session. Let's start with our main console. Hit setup and pick MA network control. A lot of these changes can only be made when you're not in session. If it says master or connected at the top, we need to click leave session. There's a few ways to change your console's IP address, and one of them is right here in this menu. This is an option that does require a restart, but I'm gonna hold off until I change the host name. This is just a way to relabel your desk in a way that makes sense when you see it on the network. I'm gonna change this one to be called main, and I'll do the restart. Station priorities are all about which desk is the master and when. While we can run our show from either desk, the master is really the one that owns the show file and the session. Because of this, a master could come into another session and possibly take it over. And if that new master is not the console that you were working at, there's a chance that you could lose some of your data. For our main console, we could set our priority to high or normal. The difference here is really going to be obvious when you click to rejoin a session where another console has become the master after this station has dropped offline. With high, this console will rejoin the session, download the state of the show from the backup, and then reassign itself as the master. If I set this to normal, and my backup is also set to normal, then my main will rejoin but stay listed as connected, and my backup desk will stay the master. Because you can operate your show from either desk, it's personal preference. Low might be a good option if you have a console on stage for tech purposes. Low won't ever try to take over the session if it sees another master console in the network. Low priorities will only join. But if it's in a session and the master and backup drop off, then it can take over in that worst case scenario. Don't set either your main or your backup consoles to never. Never means the station can join a session, but never be a master. So if your main desk goes offline, a console set to never won't take over. So for today's purposes, I'm going to set the main to high. Those options on the right are specific to this station, but the options on the left are all about the session, which is what all of our stations will be talking on. A session is going to get an ID and a name. An ID is just a number, and we can totally leave this at one, and the name could be the name of your show or whatever you want. The reason we give these numbers and names is because we can have multiple sessions running on the same ethernet network. For our tracking backup example, we only need one session. And if you're worried about other consoles joining your session during a show, you can password protect it. I've never been in a situation where a password was necessary, but there are a couple of other joining options that I do like to use. 
If I lose a station during the show, I don't want it to automatically come back into my session when it's up and running again. Here's why. When that console rejoins a session, the network needs to do a show upload. And while that's happening, I really can't do anything. Obviously, I don't want that to happen during the show, so I might set auto join to disabled. That means if I wanna put a console back in a session, I can do it manually when the time is right, rather than the console deciding when it's good for him. We can join from that station, or if invite enabled is on, well, I can remotely bring that other console back into the session from the console I'm currently at using the invite station option. And if I need to kick a console out of the session at any point, I just click dismiss station. Okay, we've got all the settings, how we like them on our main desk. Let's hit create session. Now let's go to our backup console and update our settings. Our backup needs to be in the same IP range as the main, but it can't be the same IP address or the same IP as any other device on the network. My main was 192.168.0.1, so we want to set this as 192.168.0. something else, like 2. If you're using an MA on PC, then you're going to need to set your IP in Windows first, and then you can select it here. If my backup desk was a console, I'd normally set my host name to be backup, but since I'm using on PC in this example, I'm stuck with the computer name. And I'm gonna leave my station priority as normal. And of course, if I've changed the IP address, I'll need to do a restart. Just like on the main, I wanna leave invite enabled on, but I'm disabling the auto join, again, just in case it drops off during the show and I don't notice, I don't want it to join back in when I'm not expecting it. I know I've brought this up a couple of times, but you really don't want another console auto joining your session during your show while you're trying to run queues. I'm going to select my main session and then I'm going to click join session here on my backup. And you can see that the backup is getting the show download. This one's pretty quick, but depending on the size of your show, it could be longer. And again, I really can't do anything while that's happening. The other thing you want to do on your backup is log in as the same user that you are in the main, not a copy. You want to be the same user. That way, both desks are always on the same page in the same queue. Any views that you open on your main will open on your backup, and your programming data is shared between the two desks. Now, it won't look exactly the same. The pop-up windows like calculator or update that you get on one console are not gonna pop up on the other, and neither will what you're typing on your command line. Also, the setup windows are gonna be unique to each desk. So it's not an exact visual copy, but for running a show, it's great because your cues are always gonna be in sync and so are your views, and you can basically just walk in between either desk at any time and keep running the show. So what does it look like if we lose a console during a show? Well, I'm just gonna unplug the ethernet coming from my main console. And when my backup notices the main is gone, he'll take over as master. It's not instantaneous, but it's pretty quick. Because I was logged in as the same user on both stations, my backup is on the same page and in the same queue as what was my main. So I can just walk over and start running the show from the backup. If your lights are connected to NPUs, well, they're still in session and they're still outputting. If you've got other physical connections in the back of your desk, like Artnet, those will now have swapped to the backup as well. And if you're using physical 5-pin DMX out of the back of the console, now is the time to switch that AB switch to the backup desk. Next, let's say that we figured out whatever the issue was with our original main and we want to put them back in session. In our example, we know it was an air gap with the Ethernet. Before I plug the original main back in, I want to go to the network settings and make sure that he's not a master in his own session, because that would mean two masters and that could result in a session collision. Cool. Okay, now I can plug the ethernet back in and get him on the network. Once I see the session, then I just need to find a few seconds in the show when I'm not queuing anything to bring him back into the session, either with join session or I can invite him from another station. And it can be tough to find that moment, especially in a busy show where you're controlling lighting and video. I mentioned this a moment ago, the dreaded session collision. The window for this looks kind of intimidating and it is important, but don't let the bright red title scare you. 
This window comes up if there's two stations on the network that both think that they are the master of your session, and this window just wants you to pick one. That's why I recommend making sure that any console you're bringing back into a session is not already a master of its own session. That'll keep this from appearing. But sometimes there's maybe a faulty cable or network port and you lose communication for just a moment and when it's restored, you could get this collision of two masters. If that happens, you want to hit take over session from the console that you're currently running the show from. That way you stay in the queues that you're running live on stage rather than jumping to wherever the other console thinks you are in the show, which is probably wrong. Obviously every show's communication setup is different. For me, I'm usually at front of house with two consoles, maybe some SMPTE coming in, and then MANET running backstage to NPUs and maybe a bit of SACN. Your setup could be completely different, so play with this and figure out what works best for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.